Hey everybody, this is Dana Martin, back after six years of my last YouTube series. Um, Devin and I and Riley are here. Devin and Riley are unschooled teens, and we are going to share with you some viewer questions. We're going to answer some. And um, Devin and I just came back from Hollywood recently, filming the Jeff Probst show, which was an amazingly positive experience for us. We um, Last time I did a YouTube series, it was after our Dr. Phil experience, which was kind of a shocking situation because we didn't know we'd be on stage with Dr. Phil and it was received kind of negatively, unschooling was, and uh, we've done a lot of stuff with TV and the media and pretty much all of it's been really biased or skewed with an agenda against unschooling. The Jeff Probe show was the first time it was ever shown in a balanced, honest way and unschoolers are celebrating worldwide for this amazing success of honesty and integrity that the Jeff Probe show had. And so uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about what that was like for Devin and I. We um, we were on vacation in Florida. We took the kids to Disney World for Christmas, which was <laughs> pretty crazy, wouldn't you say? We're not smart people. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to planning vacations. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Disney at Christmas, I wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, so we were in the middle of our vacation, and we got a call from the Jeff Probe Show producers, and they invited us to fly out and uh, film the show. And it was, it was awesome. We flew out from Orlando, spent one night at the, um, what was the hotel called? It was, it's called Lowe's now, but it was the Hollywood Renaissance. It was the same hotel that, yeah, it was the same hotel that we stayed at when we filmed um, Dr. Phil. So it was so weird to be back there. Was it the same room even? Did we stay in the same room? Yeah. I think, I think we had the same view. I don't know. I think it was like a higher floor, yeah, but, um, but they, it was a great experience. And Jeff Probst was really open to just learning about it, just listening, asking honest questions, and um, yeah, it was Devin's first time, wasn't it? Your first time in front oh, of a yeah, live? Yeah, in front of a live, yeah. In front of like a live studio audience. Yeah. What was it like for you to do that? Didn't know where to look. <laughs> really? Yeah, I could. I, I didn't know, I just kind of looked at whoever was talking. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't know either, yeah. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. pretty intense. <laughs> I remember looking down at his coffee table a lot, because it was a really cool coffee table. Yeah, it was like a wooden fake tree thing. It's yeah. Like, nothing was, grows like that. It was obviously fake. I'd look at the that. audience every once in a while and just to try to read them and everybody was pretty, the energy yeah, they were was pretty, all just like, yeah, <laughs> everybody seemed really interested for yeah, sure. Yeah. What was it like seeing your friends on TV? Well, first of all, I just like freaked out as soon as you guys walked out. Like when you walked out, I just was like, ah, oh, like Dana. <laughs> and then Carson, my sister and I like watched the show from my mom's bed and it was just so great. Like hearing the questions he had to ask and like hearing your responses. And I felt like it was a really positive thing to hear. And yeah, talk it was about. good. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad they didn't show my weird stumble in the beginning. Oh, did you stumble? Did I did stumble. I don't remember. What? what did you say? I don't know. I don't remember any of it. It was so intense, I can't remember anything I said. I don't I think said. you stumbled. No, I thought, I didn't whatever. Hear anything. What has to bring out? I don't know. Yeah, when he, um, <clears throat> the only time I kind of stumbled was when he, I thought he was going to start quizzing you because he yeah, said, what yeah. would he do when he, you know, and it's funny because Tons of, tons of posts are all thinking that you didn't know what 8 times 8 was. I know, they're like, it's because he doesn't know. And I'm like, that's not why. It's right. Just like, well, yeah. people just don't understand the whole philosophy behind unschooling and respecting children and not quizzing them. You mm -hmm. know, it's, yeah. I think it's one of the most basic of human rights, what's inside your minds. And to be, everyone you always agree? quizzes you once they find out that you're on school. They always yeah. quiz you. It's like one of the first things. What do you guys do when somebody does that? I just say it's impolite and just kind of walk away. <laughs> That's pretty good that you yeah. have the confidence to do that. What about you? Yeah. Have well, you... they don't really, like, people usually don't quiz me, but when they, like, say, oh, it's unschooling, I try my best to, like, explain it to them, and usually yeah. their face is just like, what? You don't go to school, you don't have chores, or, like, you know, you don't do any of that. It's so. like saying you fly. It just I know, doesn't just like... happen, you know? <laughs> yeah. like, you can't just not do I that. I know. Yeah, you they're like, oh, you're so lucky. Yeah. I'm like, so people think that you're lucky, like, usually? Yeah, they wish they could That's be That's what everyone always says. Yeah. 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 Everyone always says that they wish that their parents were like better and like, like you guys. Kinder and yeah. fun to be with. Yeah. That's a really big thing. Like as a parent, <clears throat> people say to unschooled parents, you can't be your child's friend and be their parent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like what do you guys think about that? Do you think you can be or? I think you can yeah. be your friend, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it makes it easier to just talk to your parents and like be around them when they're like kinder to you and want mm -hmm. to be your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So much pressure, like in the parenting community of, you know, I'm not your friend, I'm your parent. Like, people think you have to choose either or. And people think that if you're a friend to your child, that must mean that 
you just want to be cool as a parent and be accepted, or yeah. I, don't, I don't even know what really goes through people's heads. Human race is kind of messed up on that whole thing. It's so much stress, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're so conditioned to think that now that you can't really get out of it for a while. Right. Mm -hmm. I definitely love spending time with you guys as much as I do someone who's an adult. It doesn't matter to me age. You know, we all have so much fun together. Nobody even thinks about that. I think when you're unschooled, age disappears, and you just are hanging out with a bunch of people. And mm -hmm. I think when kids are really age segregated, it's um, a lot harder for them. I remember when the neighbor used to come over. Um, he was Devin's age, and I would ask him questions like, "How are you doing? What's going on?" And he couldn't. He wouldn't even look me in the eye. And he he like didn't even want to talk to me. He got away from me as quickly as possible because it to wouldn't him, even come into the house. No. <clears throat> well, because to most kids in our culture, adults represent authority, and they're not somebody who, you know, adults generally don't socialize with kids mm -hmm. at all, and so it's this really weird thing. He was almost like, why are you talking to me? Am I in trouble? You know? Mm -hmm. And so I was, I was sad that I couldn't connect to them and chat with them, and mm -hmm. I found that to be the case with most school kids. In fact, recently, we had another situation with a girl in Florida who was kind of the same thing. I was just like, hey, come sit down. Tell me about what you're interested in, and she was just like... This is weird. Like, <laughs> am I being tested? Like, it was really strange. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> tell me, um, what do you find like most unique about, you know, living this life, and compared to like kids who are traditionally parented? Well, I think that everyone is a lot more like. Everyone is so much more like, what's the word? Them like they're more themselves. Mm -hmm. Like they have more less cookie cutter like school yeah, kids. More creative. Yeah, more yeah. Unique. Like unique. That's yes. yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's just so many things. I can't think of just a Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Everything's unique about it. It seems like unschool kids can't wait to like be together again. Like when mm. we, we we run yeah. a couple conferences and the Life Rocks conference, every unschooled kid and teen I know is like counting down. We were all so depressed like, like a week after. We're I just, know, like, after the conference anything. it's like the worst time. Why yeah. do you think that is? It's, it, do you think it's because you finally are understood in this yes. group of kids? Yeah, it is. So you just kind of leave, you don't see each other for another year. I know. Hopefully yeah. another, another party. Yeah. It's just such a happy place to be and yeah. then you leave and it's like, oh, now what? Right, yeah. because then you're among a, you know, a culture of people that don't understand you, people mm -hmm. that judge you. I think unschoolers are pretty discriminated against. Yeah, definitely. When they find out you're unschooled, they're kind of like looking at you, like trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Yeah. yeah. I think you're either, you know, it's funny, I was reading on a message board, and, and no matter how much we explain in the media or publicly what unschooling is, and I thought this last interview was awesome. We like, were able to explain a lot. And um, even so, it's almost like people can't, can't even get through to their minds because people put like unschooled, unschooling equals stupid people in society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or like fun equals not learning. Like that's something like they're like, oh you can't have fun and like go places in life. Like that's what my life is. It's all fun. Yeah. Right? Another yeah. thing I hate is work isn't fun, it's work. Like, <laughs> I hate that saying. Why? You should be passionate about it. Yeah. I mean it's everything should be fun. Yes. And you can make money off of things that you love doing. Oh, and yeah. I think that's one thing unschoolers demonstrate. I mean you guys mm -hmm. having your own businesses and you know, making money off just doing things you love is part of life for us. Mm -hmm. And um, there's this saying that um, success is the key to happiness, but I think unschoolers take it to a whole other level. Mm -hmm. We spin it all around mm -hmm. on its head and say, no, happiness is the key to success. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what I'll end on for now. That's the goal. Yeah, we'll see you soon.